<clears throat> Hi guys, Heather here. Welcome back to another review video. Um, today I'm gonna be re reviewing the, the season four premiere of Yoga Yo Yo Gabba Gabba, season four, episode one, Google. Okay, so real quick, before I start this review, for anyone who doesn't even know who this character is, um, Google is this white ghost character that's usually seen in the background crying, and he's usually always sad all the time. Anyway, so the ep this episode synopsis is, um, the gang, the Gabba gang tries to cheer up Google to make him feel better. Okay, so, um, the episode starts off with... Um, the ga the Gabba gang feeling happy, and then Jonathan explains that um he's happy because his friends are happy, but sometimes friends can be sad. He shows us a picture of Google. He tells that he tells us that he's a ghost and he's always sad. Fufa asks um, well, why is Google always so sad? And he doesn't know. And um, Bro was like, I don't know. He always cries and makes me sad. Sometimes it's not f it's no fun to be around him. And then Plex tells him to be nice and that he should um that we should help people who are feeling sad and try to help them feel happy again. And then um the, everyone um tries to figure out why Google is sad. Either way, the when Muno and Tootie come into the picture and they're like uh, coming to the on screen, um, they, the Gabba gang sing us the song "Cheer Up" to find out ways to help cheer up Goobal. But just before, after the song ends, um, Plex is like, "That's how you make someone happy." And then just then, Goobal teleports in, and he's like, "I'll never be happy." And then they ask, try to ask him, "Can you, uh, can you tell us why you're always sad?" And Goobal's like, "I don't really know, and I don't, and that's what makes me sad." But and then they um may maybe um throw a party for him to help him feel happy and then he he's like yeah maybe and then they start cheering and then we have a girl in a gray and black um Google dress with um orange leggings and then the um um jingle of this episode um everyone is happy by not the fa by the the fans young of heart um then um we have a um a bit segment bruce in a um black red and white striped hoodie with google on it and playing trick or treat with like a, a, a bit version of google in a haunted house handing out candy and then we have a mark's magic picture segment where um um, he shows us how to draw a spooky ghost, and then the, the the ghost tells us a joke. What's a ghost's favorite food? Bologna sandwiches. And I admit, that was pretty funny, not gonna lie. Okay, so after that ep segment ends, we have Bruce riding on a butterfly-winged monster thing. Uh, okay, so then we cut to the second segment, so they... Decide to throw Google a spooky costume party, and then they figure out, try to figure out where they should throw have the party, and then they have the party at Google's house, and then he warns every his friends that it's not like his his land is not like Gabaland, and um after they reach um Google land, it's all spooky and they start to feel scared, but you gotta remember Google's a ghost. He can he can. He can light the way. And after um, singing a song called Welcome to Google Land slash Don't Be, a, Be Scared, they reach Google's house and they see the inside. It looks spooky. And then they um realize it looks cool. And um they don't like being scared too. He's like, they, I don't like being scared, but I do like spooky things like Google's house. And then Plex is like, spooky is great. It makes my wires tingle and my... Wires, gears, jingle, and then they um, a clock um, clock chimes and some bats come out and uh, they they say that they're going to go outside and play. So then they um, 
start arranging for the spooky party, and then they ask Google where his all his friends are, and then we come to the saddest part of this episode. Google's like, I guess I don't have any friends, and starts running off crying, and then they realize that maybe that's that's why Google is sad. It's because he feels like he doesn't have any friends, and then they um arrange the costume party. And meanwhile, we have a um the kid Isaac in a gray and gray shirt with a with red sh- pants and a goobal hat. Sent his name's Isaac, and he likes to dance. And then we have a DJ Lance dance segment called the Happy Zombie. Going, swing your arms back and forth for a little while, then jump around until you start to smile. Do the Happy Zombie, and then after that ends, Isaac blows into a marshmallow horn and a golden music note comes out and then we cut to google crying and gabalian and then um is like uh, every- google is crying but everyone's throwing a costume party for him and then he tells he- google that he doesn't have to- if he's feeling sad he doesn't have to run away run away crying and that he should tell his friends why he's feeling sad and then um Google teleports to Jalance into to Google's his house, um, and then everyone is dressed up in costumes. Plex is dressed up like a skeleton. Um, Tootie is dressed up like a hockey player. Fufa's dressed up like a mouse. I think Broby's supposed to be like a um jungle wild cave so cave guy thing. I'm honestly not hundred hundred percent sure. All right, and then everyone comes in, and um, we see Bismarcky as a ghost, and then everyone's like, "Where's Muno?" And then they see Muno is right, is like right there, and then Google's like, Go- "Moon, hey Muno, you're me." And then Google's like, and then Muno's like, "I love dressing up as my friend Google." And then everyone's like, "Huh?" And then Google's like, "That." Makes me so happy, and we get to see him smile, as pictured up in this picture above, right here. And, and then the super Mar- super super music French show Mariachi All Bronx um plays called Friends Can Make You Smile from beneath of a bookshelf in Google's house. And then, of course, listening to dance and music is awesome. And then we have a um. Story time segment, the shy girl, and then after that ends, we have Avery in in kitty cleanup, cleaning off after a naughty kitty. Um, with the pop, we're trying to leaving paw prints. Um, on paw prints, and then cleaning up afterwards, and then we have Greg showing us how to play keyboards, and um, and then we have the last kid of this. Oh, fuck. And then we actually, after the mariachi, and after the mariachi El Bronx, we have a kid in a black and gray, um, Google sweatshirt saying his name is Jasper and he likes to dance. And after, um, the Greg's keyboards ends, we have a kid, the kid, um, um, in a white, black, and red striped Google's hoodie saying his name is Bruce and he likes to dance. And after that we get a um like almost like a mid credit scene. Um um before credit scene we have like Google I'm um, saying that he had the best that was the best spooky costume party ever and he's sad that he, it's over and that he says it's like that it feels nice to talk to his friends and then he feels happy again and he goes back to his house. Um and then um we we remnants of what we did that day and the mu and the mega mix up for this episode plays. I'll hang on. I will have to play the mega mix for you guys. Hang on, let me just.
Okay, so after the mega mega mix ends, everyone turns back into the boys and then they leave like, the studio. Okay, so, so my, my thoughts in this episode. Um, okay, so you know how I say that, um. That made me feel great for him. Unfortunately, this was the only time, the first and only time we get love. Like, this poor guy, like my friend Hillary James Lyle. How I say that, um, um, I, I usually end that one turn back into the boys and then they leave the, the studio. Okay, so my, my thoughts on this episode. Um, okay, so you know how I say that, um, um, I, I usually like at all six X episodes of Yo Gabba Gabba. Well, I think I probably have found my favorite episode of the show. Um, and I admit, this is one that's probably gotta be it. I, like I said, I honestly feel s bad for Google. While some people, like my friend Hillary James Lyle, thinks he's creepy, but completely understands that he he needs friends. I actually think he's really underrated. As I've stated in my salute on this show, I've said that Google is super underrated, in my opinion. I th I feel really bad for him, and honestly, he deserves love. Like this poor guy, um, is always crying in the background. I just feel really bad for him. At least we get do get to see him happy in this episode, and that actually made me per perk up a bit. And I admit that made me feel great. That made me feel great for him. Unfortunately, this was the only time, the first and only time we get to see him smile. Oh well, but at least we did get to see him so happy. Either way, I give this episode a, a, a big 10 out of 10. If you guys enjoyed this review video, feel free to subscribe to me. This is me, Heather, signing off. Goodbye!